Hey what's up guys, it's Blood here and today we're getting into a brand new video. I know it's been a while, it's been about four weeks now since I've technically, or no, I'm sorry, two weeks now, about to be three weeks I think, since my last video. And that's kind of bad for me, I don't know, I was, it was kind of a mixture of being busy and uh, lazy, I guess. This video is completely different, like right now this is just me. But I'm also kind of happy because we're about to hit 1800. We're only one off right now. We probably are going to hit it by the end of tonight, which is amazing. And I appreciate that. What this video is about is a World War II video based off of Call of Duty World War II. Essentially, the reason why I'm making this video is because I needed to persuade myself that this video or this uh, Call of Duty isn't going to be shit or super bad, I guess, when it comes to customization and gun choice I guess and I kind of wanted a modern game or even a Vietnam game just because I thought that it would be better for guns and I didn't want to go back to where worlds at war guns were at because I did a lot of research I guess and came up with a huge amount of guns and melee weapons some grenades and Possibly a kill streak or two I might have put in here. Possibly. All right, so this is the EPK or the Py Pyrical, I think. And I didn't do a whole lot of reading or anything on all of these guns just because I wanted to pick up a lot and see what they looked like and see what they were. Now, this is a machine gun made by Greece, I guess. And as you can see, this is a pretty cool looking gun, I guess. It's kind of like an old fashioned or maybe a little bit more modern, I guess, of the Thompson. So that's a pretty cool gun and I'm kind of hoping that they don't just go with the iconic guns that were in World War II and they go off and I guess use some guns that weren't necessarily the most popular guns, but they did look cool and they definitely had some cool design work. But yeah, this is a cool gun. And I hope to see it. Now this is an FNAB 43 as they call it. It's kind of like an MP40 I guess. A little bit. But it's a submachine gun and it was used in World War II as well. By the Germans I think? Yeah, Nazi Germany. It was only used in World War II. And yeah, so this is a pretty cool gun I think. And I would love to see this too. This is a blurry ass picture so yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'd love to see a gun like this. This is kind of like a mixture of, um, I don't know, like an MP40, like I said, and something else. A little bit of smaller gun, I guess. But I would love to see some guns like these. I don't want to just see the MP40, the PPSH, and a couple other guns, you know. I want to see something a little bit different. I don't want to see the exact same guns used over and over. And obviously a couple of these I did put in that might have been in World War or World at War and... I don't know, it could be interesting to see their take on it. So let me load this up, and this is the Sten. You might have heard of the Sten, it was a little more popular as you can see, it was used in a hell of a lot of wars. And it was made in the UK, but the Sten is actually a really cool gun. I guess it can be considered kind of like, um, I don't know, what the hell the gun's called in the game, but I think it's like the, people called it like the water gun or something in MW3, I can't remember. It's kind of like a mixture between that and something else. Uh, the Type 100 from World at War, I guess, this would probably be the closest to. But um, this is a really cool gun. I don't think it's that big either. From the looks of this picture, it doesn't look too big. Yeah, simple design, very low production cost, which made them very effective for resistance group groups. Okay, that's pretty cool. So yeah, they, they were in a lot of wars here, the... World War II, Warsaw, Chinese Civil War, Korean War, Vietnam War, a lot of wars. Damn, okay. So let's move on to the M1941 Johnson. This gun's an LMG, and I picked this gun because it doesn't look like a World War II gun. Even though it was, and I believe it said, yeah, made in uh, 1940 here. But this gun was nowhere near as popular as some other guns that were used as there's only about 9,500 made, but I have guns on here that are even more rare, like only 15 made, but we'll get into that later. But this LMG looks really cool, and I'm, this might be a longer video, but I would love to see this gun come to the game. And it looks pretty dead, or uh, looks pretty badass, so I don't know. Hopefully I won't get any copyright strikes or something on these photos. 
Ithaca 37. All right, so this is a shotgun. Now, I picked this because it looks like a modern shotgun or a Vietnam shotgun. And saying that, it was a Vietnam shotgun. Vietnam War, Korean War, World War II, a couple other places I know, but this was designed in 1933, which is quite impressive because this looks like a gun you'd be playing on Black Ops 1, which I think Black Ops 1 took in Vietnam, which might be the reason why, but... Yeah, so this would definitely be an interesting gun for people that like to use shotguns. As I, when I saw World War II, I was like, how are shotguns going to be? Because I've seen World at War shotguns, and they were really, I think, poorly done. We only had the double barrel and the other shotgun that was in the game, but I can't remember it. But I would like to see a little bit better, I guess more better or modern or something like that like these guns would definitely be sick to see even if it's like maybe an earlier version even though this was made in 1933 so it definitely could be an opportunity to be put into the game all right so the next up is the moore's submachine gun and i believe this was yeah it says the prototype version which i don't know what exactly that means i've seen experimental which is like non-tested i guess but I'm guessing this is just like they made it and it was put into combat immediately. Maybe like really bad design. I don't know. But um, I guess it was modeled after the German EMP-35, which I'm not sure what that is. I think I heard of it when I was doing some more research. But um, there's a lot of guns that you'll see that other countries copied other countries' designs of guns because they worked well. But um, I don't know how well this worked, because from the looks of it, it wasn't in many wars, if any. But this was definitely made towards, towards the World War II time, so this could definitely be a possibility. Alright, so the next one is another shotgun. I think the next two are actually shotguns. Made from the same company, just a little more modern versions. And as you can see, these are both pretty much the same gun. Just one's this, I guess. And they're, they're just shotguns, and I... Th thought of these being pretty cool because they're pump action and definitely something for shotgun users to be using and be excited about because it's not only going to be like double barrels and all that shit and the guns have actually been in many wars as well made by the US which is definitely a good sign as I think the game is taking place from an American point of view. Alright, so the M50 Rising. So there's three versions of the gun, the Model 50, Model 55, and M60. Um, this is the very first version, I think, the M50. And this one was used in World War II and a couple other places. This was also made by the U.S., so that's also a good sign, which means we could possibly see this gun coming as well. And as you guys can see, this does look like a decently good gun. For the most part. And it is definitely still up there as a possibility of coming into the game. And remember these guns might not be there at launch. But they're supply drops for sure. Definitely 100%. We already know this is going to be a thing. So I'm pretty sure they're probably going to have guns that are coming in eventually. And these can be DLC weapons. If of course they're not put in, in the stock full game. So this is the UD M42, the United Defense M42. And I guess it was because the Marlin was the uh, creators or whatever. This was also a United States submachine gun. Now I picked this because it kind of looked like a Tommy gun in a way. But also had these weird like clip things. So I didn't know what this was exactly. But it did look like it was a good gun. And I believe I just said this was from the United States. So yeah. Very good possibility we can see this as this was the only gun, or this was the only war that this gun was seen in, and it only lasted for three years. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Obviously, there's probably better decisions out there. So the next one that I'm going to pick is the Well Rod, and I kind of see this gun being in the game at some point, even if it's not at launch, and I say that because I feel like it would definitely make for a good gun in the story since there is going to be no regen of health as well as there's going to be no ammo pickup so this would definitely be a good gun for stealth now obviously this has been uh 
a bolt action suppressed pistol, which is kind of unique to the World War II. So, 2800 were made, which it wasn't the most popular gun, but it only you only heard 73 decibels when fired. So, this is definitely a cool gun that I would love to see in the game added to World War II, whether it's through multiplayer or the campaign or even Nazi zombies. Although I think this would be a pretty good gun for the campaign. But um, the next one is for people that like pistols. Just saying, it isn't only the M1911. It is also the M1917, which is a revolver. And this is uh, also a U.S. pistol. It was used in many wars, but it's been used mainly in the first two world wars. It's been around for a while now. It's been used since 1970 to 75, so quite a bit of quite a bit of time, you know. So this is definitely a cool gun for pistols because pistols, shotguns, and snipers. Those are like the three things that people are kind of worried about, I guess, where they're not too sure what's available. And I think the pistol category is going to be fine because there's many revolvers. And it's not only revolvers, there's also many other different types of guns that are pistols. But this is definitely one of the better ones that I've seen, which is a revolver. Alright, so this is a... Sorry if I don't pronounce this right, but I think it's the De Lizzle or Lizle carbine. Now, this is a pretty interesting gun to me. Because, uh, well, the UK made it. It was in a few wars... As I can see on here, I honestly wouldn't have known if it didn't say that because I've never seen this gun or heard of it before. But um, I'm not too sure how good it is, but it does say that it produced no visible muscle flash and was inaudible at a distance of 50 yards, which is pretty good for a gun. So, it is very possible that we could be seeing this gun as well. And this picture's not too good, but um, this one's not bad. So, I think... I think that this is just a semi-auto carbine, but I might be wrong about that. But I would definitely love to see this gun in the game as well. So the next gun that we have is the Browning Auto 5, which is also made from the US. And it's also a shotgun, so it's a semi-auto shotgun. And uh, it's been around for a long time. It was designed in 1898, produced in 1902, and there's many different variants of it. So. Uh, most reliable source on the internet says but I believe them <laughs> so I mean yeah this could definitely be another cool shotgun that we see in the game just proving that shotguns will definitely have its place in the game if Sledgehammer knows what they're doing which they said they want to be historically accurate but I hope when it comes to multiplayer they don't only pick iconic guns to choose from alright so the next one that I picked is a LMG called the Breda 30 and this gun is kind of interesting because it's been used by a lot of people. It was made in the Kingdom of Italy at the time. There was 30,000 of them by 1940, which is definitely interesting. It was made mainly in World War II. But uh, it was also in this war. I cannot pronounce that, so I'm not even going to bother saying it. But it was between the Italians and whatever the hell that is. Sorry if you're an Abyssinian. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, this could be a cool LMG that I was looking at because I also want to see LMGs. LMGs became a gun category that we'd like to see in the game. And I saw this picture, I was like, damn, this is a badass LMG. If I had a choice between this and the MG42, I think I would have to pick this just because it looks badass. Super straightforward, and I think that's... um. Not gonna say it because I don't remember what the fuck it's called, but it's in World at War II, the attachment. And attachments are also a thing that I think the game's gonna really have to work on because there is attachments in this game, like suppressors and all that shit, or in uh, World War II, but I don't know what we're gonna have to see because there's many different things that they could do, but I don't know how realistic they wanna make it. Alright, so the next one is a Beretta M1918, it's a submachine gun. And I think I've heard of this from Battlefield 1, but I might be wrong about that. But this is definitely a cool gun. But um, this is a... Uh, I think they said that it's possibly the first SMG used as a general issue combat weapon. I don't know if I agree or believe that, but um, maybe. There's a lot of variants, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And speaking of variants, 
if they do go the route of having variants in the game through supply drops or whatever, they could do it because countries usually copied other countries' guns, and that would definitely be an easy way of doing variants without taking too much of the game away. And the next gun that we have is the Beretta Madella 38. And honestly, this is a pretty good looking submachine gun for the World War II era, and it was designed in 35, 1935. And I think put into combat in 1938, but I might be wrong about that. I think that the first one was made in 1938, but I don't know. But it was used in the World War II and Syrian Civil War. So this is definitely a cool gun that I would definitely love to see. And it looks like this. So definitely a cool gun, and I hope to see it in the game. And the next gun that I picked is the Owen gun. And I don't know why I picked it, but it just stood out to me so well. But it's a submachine gun from Australia called the Owen gun. And this is the final design photo right here. This gun was used in World War II, but I don't think it was uh, used a lot, I guess. I don't think there was that many made. Let me see if I can see. Oh, no, 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 no. There was 45,000 made. That's quite a bit. We could definitely maybe see that gun come into the Call of Duty World War II. All right, so the next one is another revolver. And I picked revolvers because I guess they were really used. And this one had 125,000 built and was used for quite a long time in many wars. Many wars. So this is definitely a very, very good possibility to be seen. But I, like I said, I don't know how many revolvers they want to put into the game. And I'd probably say max maybe two. So... This could be a good possibility of coming into the game because there's so many made. But, um, there's a lot of other guns that it could take its place, like the M1911, for example. It's definitely going to have its place before it. This next gun is another pistol, and it's the Stair M1912, I believe. That's how you pronounce the creator's name or whatever, the manufacturer. And this gun, for example... Compared to the last gun that we just showed, this gun will definitely be in the game compared to it. I don't know if this gun's going to be in there, but this gun had about 300,000 made. 3,000 of these guns made. Had one more variant, I believe, the M12 or something like that. The DP M12. But it was used in a lot of wars as well. or used by It was used in the first two world wars and used by a lot of people. And it wasn't that heavy of a gun, 2.6 pounds. So this is definitely a possibility. Are two variants of each other. The MP34, which is a submachine gun from Australia. Or, I'm sorry, Austria. Not Australia. And another one that was here was the MP18 and the MP35. And I think this was also called the EMP at some point. But um, basically these two were almost identical. But I wanted to show it because I believe the MP-18 is in Battlefield 1. And Battlefield 1 takes place in World War 1. So the odds of this gun coming is very low. But I wanted to show it because it kind of reminded me of a PPSH in a way. But um, yeah, so this gun could possibly come to the game as well as the mp34 but i think the 18 had more people using it or more manufactured but i don't think there's an actual number around here so the next one is the m3 submachine gun now i picked this gun not because i was interested about it in fact i didn't even know about it but this gun was actually confirmed to be coming to the game in fact there was a few guns that were confirmed to be coming to a game, coming to the game, and uh, this was one of them, the M3 submachine gun, also known as the Grease gun. But this was made from the United States, go figure, and used in many wars, many wars. But it was designed in 1942, just in time for uh, some good old U.S. kicking ass, you know. And uh, yeah, so fifteen dollars to make it, apparently, at its time. And 700,000 of these were made. Few variants. So yeah, this gun, it's already confirmed, so it's definitely being in the game. It's one of the few guns that will be in the game at launch. 
All right, so the next one is the M1917 model. Oh, I'm sorry. The M1917 Browning MG. It's a heavy machine gun used by the United States. So right there is pretty good possibility that it's coming to the game. Used in many wars, mainly the first two world wars. And I picked this gun first of all because it looks badass. Second of all, it's a water-cooled MG, which means if you shoot it too much, the gun can crack from overheating and need to be water-cooled most of the time. So the odds of this gun being in the game without um, ruining, I guess, historically accurateness is very low. But this is a possibility of coming to the game as it is a really nice gun. And I'll show you a picture right here. This isn't the greatest or biggest picture, I guess, but um, I think they had another one. Yeah, so this one is on like a tripod in a way, and yeah. All right, so the next one is the MP40. It was made from Nazi Germany, so there is a good chance we can see this gun. It was in the original World at War, used in many wars, but mainly by Nazi Germany. And as you can tell, they've already announced that this game's going to have hella Nazi shit in it. So there is a good chance that this gun will be seen in some form or fashion. Maybe a newer model or an older model, but I am almost like 100% sure this gun will probably make it in at some point. Just because how iconic and popular this gun was. There was about 1.1 million of these guns made and 5 or 6 different variants. So yeah, this gun I'm pretty sure it probably will be in. And the next one is another pistol. And this is a pistol that's kind of small. It fit in many people's hand, like they could hide it easily. And this gun's kind of interesting because it was made in Czechoslovakia, which most of you probably don't know, but part of my family, I guess, grew up there. Not recently, I only have one person in my family that's left from there, it's my great grandmother. So this gun is definitely a possibility too, it had about almost 200,000 or uh, almost 200,000 of these guns made, which is definitely cool, and the next one that I picked is also on Battlefield 1 if you've ever played that game. And it's Mondragon M1908, which is kind of why I picked it. Um, I think it's called the Dragon, but I might be wrong about that, but it doesn't matter. This was used mainly by Mexico and then Germany but um yeah so this was mainly used in the world uh, two world wars and it was also used in the Mexican Revolution so this is definitely a cool gun I think it's bolt action I think they say it here but um semi-auto up here so I'm not I think there's like different different versions I guess but um in Battlefield 1 it's semi-auto I believe so maybe one of those variants we'll see this could be a sniper rifle without a scope as they did say that the guns do not have to have that stuff. So the next one that I picked is actually really interesting and then we'll get into a melee weapon. This gun is the PPS and I think it's some sort of variant off of the PPSH but this is a PPS 43 there's definitely a few others uh, PPS 42 uh, a couple other ones but um, I picked this because it looked kind of interesting and don't get me wrong, I picked it because it kind of looked like an STG-44, I think that's what, what it's called. Or not an STG-44. The, um, the Galil. In a, a little bit. It kind of looks like the Galil a little bit from the way it's made. And I definitely thought this was an interesting gun. And I wanted it to be put into this video. Because I really would love to see this gun come. And it's a machine gun, so... Made by the Soviet Union, we could definitely possibly see this. And not to mention, it, there was around 2 million of these made, so it was a pretty popular gun. Alright, so the next one is a anti-tank rifle called the Boys ATR. Um, I only picked this because I don't know what this gun could be. It's technically against tanks, so if the game has tanks, this could be useful. But I picked this because World at War had a PTRS, which was basically the exact same thing. Except I don't think it did damage on on any tanks. But in real life, it was pretty much an anti-tank rifle. And this would definitely be an interesting gun to see in the game. 
as maybe a really powerful sniper rifle or something in that fashion and there's about 62,000 of those I don't think we're gonna see it but it's a possibility and if we do see it they'll probably change the name alright so the next one is a melee weapon now I put a couple of these in here just because it is a possibility Black Ops 3 had a lot of melee weapons I personally was against it but um melee weapons were pretty big in some of the earlier wars that existed obviously in the very early wars it was like the only thing there was and then in World War II melee was still very very important and most people carried some sort of knife or in this case it's a sword I guess called a Dao which is translated to sword so this is definitely an interesting gun that I wouldn't mind seeing but I don't want people to be running around with melee weapons in this game like they did in Black Ops 3 just because I think I kind of ruined the game a little bit. But the next gun that I picked is a Suomi KP, I don't know, maybe KP31 I guess. It has like a dash through the name, but it's a submachine gun from Finland. And it was used in many wars, but it was, it was used in World War II a lot. And a couple Spanish wars, I think. But I picked this because it reminded me of the PPSH. And like a Type 100 put together, I guess. So I thought this was definitely an interesting and good gun that could possibly make a return. Or a, not, not a return, but it coming into the game. So definitely interesting to see these guns come in. There was about 80,000 of those made. So the PPD-40, or yeah, the PPD-40 was from the Soviet Union. There was about 90,000 of these built. Few variants. And was used in World War II. Now, I only picked this because the, the, top, the top gun right here holds 25 bullets. The bottom one holds 71. And same with the last gun I think I said. This kind of reminded me of the PPSH. And it was kind of like a variant of it before, I guess. But um, this is definitely an interesting gun that I would love to see in the game. So yeah, this could be a cool interesting gun to see. So let's go on to the next gun which is a KG M40 LMG. And I don't know, I saw this and I was like what the fuck is this? It was made from Sweden. So thank you PewDiePie for fucking doing something in your goddamn life, right? And I don't know man, this gun, 20 round bar magazine. So. It's from Sweden, so I, I can't really pronounce the gun that, that well. But this gun just interested me. It's literally just the barrel and a bipod. And then like a trigger and then a reload function. So I thought this gun was definitely really interesting and it didn't really have much of a frame on the outside of it. So you kind of saw everything. So it was a really cool gun that I saw. I thought this gun would be really nice to see into the game. And hopefully we see it. So yeah. Alright, so we were just at... Alright, so these are Molotov... Mol Mol Molotov cocktails. Alright, so these are Molotov cocktails. Which, they're pretty straightforward. They were in World at War as well. And the next one is also a... A st style hand grenade but uh, basically just grenade but um the transact the uh... oh my god I've been saying this shit forever man it's like 40 minutes of non-stop talking I'm sorry translation of uh style hand grenade or whatever the fuck that is I, I, I really can't pronounce that I'm sorry maybe if I saw like google translate or some shit talk but it means stock hand grenade which think was also in World at War, don't get me wrong, but I do think it was in there, and this gun, or um, this grenade is most likely, I have like a 100% guaranteed chance that this is uh, gonna be in the game, and I think this was the sticky grenade that was in there, but I'm not 100% sure, but Maltif Cocktail, that's pretty straightforward, and let's go to this, okay, alright, so the next weapon is a Puko. Which is a small knife from uh, Finland, I think. I think that's what it is. But it's a Finnish 
a finished belt knife with a single carving cutting edge and a flat back. So, like I said, I don't really want to see a whole lot of melee weapons because I don't want people to be running around with melee weapons in the game. But it was definitely huge for World War II, and I can definitely see these maybe making a making a come into the game, I guess. But um, yeah. All right. So the next one is a landmine, essentially. It's a Pansara Mina. Doesn't matter about the name. Just a landmine, essentially. But um, it was used against tanks. So the chance that we see this is probably very unlikely unless they add tanks into the game or maybe use it as something people would do but this was mainly used against tanks so I don't know we might see it in the game we might not the next two guns are the Moss 49 and the Moss 38 now I think one is a rifle yeah semi-auto rifle and one is a submachine gun so, either way, they do look pretty badass. Both of them look pretty badass. And I think they could both maybe make it into the game. They were in many wars. Both of them, I believe, were in many wars. This one, not so much, but it was in a few wars. But mainly World War II for both of them. So, yeah. We could definitely see this as a possibility. And, yeah. So, yeah. But, um... For World War II, I don't think it was this specific variant. It was an earlier variant that was used, the Mass 40, but I couldn't find it. It's probably somewhere on here, but I didn't put too much time to find it. It looks almost identical to that, I'm pretty sure. But uh, it is a semi-auto rifle, which would definitely be interesting to see. This is a submachine gun from France, and how many were made? Does it say 32 round magazine? That's pretty cool. I don't think it says how many were made, but... It's definitely a possibility, and I'm sure many were made because it was used in many, not many wars, but wars that stretched a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of time. All right, so the next one is the Ribe Rolly, I think. The Rollies, I think, is how you pronounce it. And um, I don't know if this is exactly what it looks like, but um. I think it is, but I'm not 200. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. But uh, I know this gun was just added in Battlefield One, and I think they did a pretty good job at making it. So I think this could be a pretty good gun, although they call it an assault rifle in this game. I think it was a submachine gun in uh, Battlefield One, which I think that's what this is. But there's no picture. So um. There's a good chance that we can see one of the variants for that. And the next one is the F1 grenade, which I think was also in World at War. But, um, there's a really good chance that we could see this in the game. I say almost 100%, 100% chance that this will be in the game. And it's pr a pretty cool grenade that's been around for a very long time, I guess, variants of this. And it says... Overall, more than 60 million grenades were produced over 25 years and used in many, many, many wars and used by many, many countries, too. So the next one that I, that I put in there, um, they showed, I guess, a sneak peek of something that showed a flamethrower. I think it was a picture or something, but um, I'm sure we'll see the flamethrower in the campaign. I don't know about multiplayer, but if there is specialists, I really hope there isn't. But if there is, there's a good chance that a flamethrower specialist is going to be in the game. So most likely, most likely is going to be in the game. I'm just going to say that right now, but there is a chance it won't make it. Maybe another variant, but um, who really knows? So I believe my next two are melee weapons, and then we're getting to our last three guns. And we'll end it here. So the next the next knife that I am showing is a parang, I believe is how they call it. And it was from Malay. I think that's how you pronounce it too. I might be wrong. I'm not great at pronouncing this shit, but um I looked up here. There's many different variants. This one kind of looked like a pipe to me, but um this one 
looked really dope, I thought, and I was like, this could be a really cool looking knife if it was in the game. It's kind of like a machete in a way, which I know that was in there too, but I don't think I picked the machete out. But um, yeah, this could be a cool little knife that they put in there, maybe in a supply drop or something, you know, put it behind a paywall. So this is a Chris, and this one actually really interested me. Because it's um I guess a like it's like a mixture between a sword and a dagger. It's kind of like a wizardish type fucking thing. And I don't know, I just saw this, I was like, damn, maybe. You know, Call of Duty gets fucking crazy every single year. And they put shit in the game like that people are like, What? This is Call of Duty. Do you still remember? So there's a chance that maybe this could possibly possibly get into the game but hey i don't know just a guess and hey who knows this could be a really cool melee weapon to actually get depending on how they want to go with the game of course now the last one is just an mg08 and i picked this because it was in world war one and world war two and many other wars but it was mainly in battle for the one which is how i figured out about it but um there isn't only this one, there's other variants. There's this, which looks pretty cool as well. And I don't want to talk any more about this type of shit, but um, it's a pretty cool gun. But uh, it could be put on another one of these like tripod things, or it could be picked up and shot. But um, I'm just going to keep saying but um. So that was our last gun, guys. Um, if you want any more videos or anything at all, Please let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We did. We hit 1,800. So I appreciate that, guys. We got two subs within 48 minutes of recording. Holy shit. This is going to be a long-ass video, isn't it? Oh, boy. Okay. Hopefully this thing gets views. But um, this was really long, a really long video. And I do hope that everybody that sat here and watched, even halfway through. But if you're here listening to me right now still, I do appreciate it. And the hype is slowly growing for this game. And I really hope it stands up to what uh, everybody wants and what they say they can deliver. So, like I said, make sure to subscribe. I appreciate the 1,800 subscribers now. And I'm sorry for lack of uploads. Uh, my computer kind of got fucked and I had to reset it to fix it. And kind of set me back a huge amount i lost a shit ton of recordings but um anyways guys i guess this is blood and i'm out peace guys much love bye